For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. He was made flesh, born of a virgin birth. He was sinless and took on the form of sin or sinful nature. He was sacrificed and crucified on the cross. He died to be the once and for all sacrifice and atonement for our sins. He became the only mediator between God and mankind. He rose again on the third day, ascended to the heavens, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. He sent his spirit back to the world so that whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have eternal life. By believing we will be regenerated through the spirit and become a new creation. The spirit will live in us, our body as the temple of the Holy Spirit, and be part of the body of Christ with the gift of the Spirit for the building up of the body of Christ, built with living stones of gold, silver, and precious stones as a spiritual house of God. The Spirit is the seal, 
the deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until our redemption, and through whom will bring our adoption to sonship, and be given the right to become children of God. The goal is to be transformed by the renewing of the mind and be conformed to the image of Christ. From newborn babes to crave for pure spiritual milk, unto maturity eating solid food, to bear the fruit of the Spirit by drinking and eating the spiritual food, which is the Word of God, to run the race set before us with perseverance, to be cleansed and washed with the water through the Word of God, to be purified and perfected, to be filled and attain the whole measure of the fullness of Christ, and become heirs in His coming kingdom, and the new heaven and new earth, in the new earth, God will dwell with us for eternity, and we will enjoy the promised inheritance as sons and daughters of God.